always do it again. Friday Night Flies. Your on? host with the most. Scotty Holmes. Scotty Holmes with Friday Night Flies coming to you from Spud Valley Sporting Goods in beautiful, beautiful Pemberton, 1380 Birch Street <laughs> in downtown hey, Pemberton. Got that out, man. I got it all out. You I got it all out. Yeah, rambling well, over and over and over again. I'm like, girl, it, girl, it, girl yeah, it. get okay. it in your head so you can tell everybody where. I know, I know where this. Yeah, yeah, I know where the place is. So sometimes it's just hard to remember the address. Oh, okay. Know, we like BSing about fly fishing, fly time. Yes, we do. And hey, if you're ever lonely, we'll take you out on a fly fishing tour too. We've got qualified guides here, man. <laughs> Professional, I should say. Yeah, no, professional, professional, professional guys. guys. Yeah. Anyhow, what are you tying today for us? Well, today I'm going to tie a gas bead chrominant. Let's have a look at that. Thing. Okay, let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at this. There it is. Whoa, man. We noticed that you're in a different attire today. Yeah, well, Scotty and I were taking a couple pictures for the for the uh, Friday Night Flies uh, webpage, and and uh, I just decided to keep my jacket on. Scotty got rid of all his stuff. but In case people didn't know you're actually a full-time chef as well. I am. I'm a, so I'm that's a, why you look so damn good in that. A chef. qualified chef. I, uh, attire. The chef attire. <laughs> it keeps what do they call that? No hair. See, it keeps all my hair nice and neat, <laughs> eh? Huh? It looks clean, man. It does it's look really clean. clean. And Anyhow, that's the so key. we're tying a beautiful chronomate today. So let's get at it, yeah? Let's do it. Yeah. Before. And as usual, we've got question and answer is open. So if you have any questions, hit us up. Okay. It's and we're, really we're trying tonight. I tie. At a different level than Scotty does, I tie up higher. So tonight we're going to try this. We're going to see how it works. It might not work very good. Glad you clarified that level. <laughs> at, <laughs> at, a, at a higher level. Hey, you know so what? I like to it's look kind of sort of directly level. across. Yeah. I like seeing your face in the back. Huh? Okay. See, you're a good looking man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good looking. Don't, don't kiss me. You know what? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie on our thread. And not make a mistake and lose the thread. And then we're going to tie on our gills. And we're using Antron yarn. So. Tighten that up a bit. Oh, yeah, we've made a few changes to the website as well. Yes, so we have. You guys, check it out. You'll see why they're wearing their chef hats. We put some new pictures up. Since our logo, our slogan, I should say, not our logo. Our logo is pretty badass. And Scotty Boulder, he spent a lot of time making that. But our slogan is tying a recipe for the weekend. weekend. Yeah. Okay, so once you got that done, then you're going to just... Tie in no we're gonna clip that off a little bit more I should have got it a little bit tighter that is what we're looking for okay so we'll just and then we're gonna whip finish that Make sure our bead fits over that thread first. Yep, perfect. And then we're going to put our bead up. I love this show. It's a highlight of my Friday, of my week. Who's that? Me, man. I love this show. You know what? we got to give a quick shout-out to the boys up at the Lillooet River IPP, the Upper Lillooet. We know we got a big fan up there. Yeah. Hey, the McMillan brothers. What's up? Hey, Fred. Yo, yo. Never forgot about you. That's right. Keep shopping here. Keep spending money, buddy. We love you. Okay, now we're gonna tie on our. That was a different group, guys. Our Uniflex. This is a really simple fly. Actually, what am I thinking? I gotta build up my thread base all the way down. Mm. 
just as the curve of the hook starts to bend. And I'm going to bring it back up. And I'm going to tie on my Uniflex and just keep pulling it. That way you don't put as much on it. See, this is weird now too. Right? It's so it's so high. Yeah. From one extreme to the other. Yeah. It looks like you have about a mile and a half of thread outside your ball. I was there. just gonna say that. It's not that much though. No, I, no, was... I know, but on the camera, it looks like you've got a mile and a half out there. Yeah, I was just thinking about because you mentioned that <laughs> you can see all the comments on YouTube from people yeah. watching, and that's one of the most common comments that yeah. I was getting is like, "Why didn't that ball bend? You don't have to make any turns." And then I'm watching on camera. It looks like you have about ten feet of thread oh, at the end of your ball. Yeah. Yeah, it looks long. But in reality, you're actually pretty close. Yeah, I mean, because I'm not I'm not touching the camera. Four inches away from the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now that we got our our uh, thread on there, we're gonna tie on. Do our ribbing up the up the fly, and we want around seven. And I tend to stretch it quite a bit in the beginning and then I'll start loosening it off and letting the letting it be a little bit wider near the top. Oh Got a little bit loose on me. I think this piece is just too. Yeah, it's hard to work with. That's the thing about this uh, flexi floss. If it breaks, it comes unraveled. Two, three, four, four, five, six. Now, have you tried? I know you're going to UV cure that body, right? Right. The buzzer. Yeah. Have you tried the thin UV cure versus the thick stuff? I've heard that the thin stuff is uh, works better for certain things, for sure. I haven't tried it. I was going to buy some the other day when I saw it because I was thinking of buzzers. Yeah, and so don't don't be shy with your turns on this floss. As I said, you know you have to build this. The thorax are up anyway, so you might as well get lots of turns on that to make sure that it doesn't come off. Okay, and then all we're going to do is we're going to tie um, and we're going to build up the, re the rest of the fly. But first, we're going to whip finish this baby off. But before I do, I'm going to build a. Just make sure that it's all nice and secure and nothing's coming undone. That's nice. Just as you rotated that vice, you can see a different color coming off that bead. That's really cool. Yeah, there's all like all sorts of different. I do. I make them on my stone nymphs too. With the river and stuff. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat. You can turn it so that the lighter part is on the bottom and the darker part's on the top. And then we're going to tie on some red thread. And there's lots of ways. I mean, You could tie on, uh, you could use some flash here and you could make little wing buds and, or a little, uh, and basically all you're trying to do is just build a taper up to the bead from about that point. Just 
Okay, once you got that, how's the taper look on camera? Good? Looks good, yeah. yeah. And again, here, you know, this is a really simple comment. I've, I've watched a few YouTube ones where there's a lot of steps and a lot of different materials, and it, it makes it hard to keep that thin profile if you're adding two different kinds of wire and two, you know, and stuff. It really, and I ultimately think that's the key is the profile, right? So now you're gonna, and now we're going to UV kit. Uh, you guys haven't used this UV stuff, it's pretty sexy stuff, and it works really awesome. The only thing you need is a UV torch. That's still kind of plugged. Yeah. So my UV finish was was plugged, and Scotty helped me unplug it. So I have some chunks that are gonna have to get rid of them. Oh, what happened? You didn't well, the uh, no, the tricky thing with these applicators is that plastic bit. There's a gap between the metal and the plastic. Oh, you're kidding me! And if it's a bright sunny day, it'll it cure warm. just in that little gap between the black cap and the. Yeah, the, uh, didn't think that. And so what I've done here, guys, is I, all I've done is I've just gone and put my initial coat of UV on there, and then I'm gonna cure that. Away from the camera so it doesn't look like getting people strokes. See, and look at that. UV. There's your UV ribbon. Yeah, you know, it really doesn't look like anything special until you hit that thing with some UV. And I'll send you the rib. Yeah. That's what they say fish see in UV. Oh, there's, there's amazing the stuff I was finding in UV at the store. The other day, UV hairs here. No way. Yeah, that was the new one. How does that look? That's great, man. Awesome. Good shape, yeah. yeah. And the nice thing about a spinning vise is, I mean, that's generally the way that I get the. Uh, just put a little glob on there, spin it around, do it again, eh? Yeah. No, that's all you can struggle. And there you yeah, go. Give me a shot from behind the camera so that we can use that shot. Like, point for me here. Grab the thing and shine it at it from behind the camera so you don't see the light. Yeah. They're perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So there, there you go. I mean, Ooh, man, that thing is a hot rod. Anyhow, so now you've seen it. That's the gas bead chronomid. Where the heck are my scissors? Oh, there they are. Fine. Fine. Thank you. Okay, and all the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim up a little bit of these, some of these little weirdo fibers that are hanging off the side there, but they're all good, the gills. And I mean, your gills as long as you want, as short as you want for it. I wouldn't go much longer than that. I think that's as long as I'd have mine. Perfect. Maybe a little bit shorter, but I'm not in a panic to trim them and make my decision right now. I might even get to the lake and go, hey, you know, they're easy to trim. I always have a pair of scissors. So okay. yeah, there you go. We're getting ready to sign out here. We got a quick show. I'm taking so we're up top now, or what? We're up top. Okay. Well, Scotty Holmes, you know, I'm tying up uh, a recipe for a weekend in my in my chef kit, and uh, hoping to have some success this week with this chronomid. We're gonna head back out to Ivy and maybe even try a little bit of chronomid fishing out there, right? See how that goes. I, I a little shout out to Scotty. I have to say, if you haven't watched How to Tie a Re Re Rick Ridiculous Fly, you should check it out. And because that fit that fly works for as crazy as it is <laughs> it caught me it caught me a nice two and a half pound trout and it caught me a nice like one and a half pound trout back to back oh, uh, yeah so yeah get out there check out the flies check out last week flies check out the archive of flies because at this point there is becoming a quite the archive yeah, that's pretty awesome man yeah that's really awesome. and uh, and if you haven't checked it out yet check out our webpage we we updated with our photos tonight and uh, Scotty's new logo's on there. Looks awesome. It's looking pretty sweet, I have to say. Share with the buddies too, man. Yeah, and share Friday with your friends, fishing. yeah. FridayNightFlies.com, check it out. Okay, Hang well, out. Friday Night Flies, uh, Scotty Holmes. Until next time, bang! <laughs>